Are you ready to have your mind blown? Did you know that a wormhole, if it exists, could potentially serve as a shortcut through time and space? That's right, folks, and now NASA has just announced something that will leave you speechless. They've created something so advanced it opens a wormhole. This is not a joke. This is not a hoax. This is the real deal. In today's video, we'll take a journey into the unknown and explore the implications of this groundbreaking discovery, from the science behind it to the questions it raises about our place in the universe. We'll cover it all. So buckle up and get ready for an adventure beyond anything you've ever imagined. This is the story of how NASA just changed the game. Let's get started. Before we get to the news itself, what exactly is a wormhole? Let's dive into one of the coolest and most mysterious phenomena in the universe. Picture this. You're on one end of a long tunnel, and your destination is on the other end, but it's just too far away to reach by foot. But what if we told you there was a shortcut through this tunnel, a hidden passageway that could get you to your destination in no time? That's exactly what a wormhole is in space a hypothetical shortcut that connects two distant points in space-time. Now, we know what you're thinking. This sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. But the truth is, scientists have been contemplating the existence of wormholes for decades. And recent advancements in our understanding of physics have brought us closer to unlocking the mysteries of these mind-boggling portals. So, think of a wormhole as a bridge through space and time, a passage that could potentially transport us from one end of the universe to the other in mere seconds. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. Get ready to have your minds blown as we delve deeper into how wormholes work and how they can help us achieve new and exciting things. You can fold space-time like folding a piece of paper, creating a shortcut between two distant points. That's essentially how a wormhole works. Now, this next bit is going to sound crazy, but bear with us. Here's where it gets interesting. Scientists believe that these wormholes could potentially be used for time travel as well, since time is also a dimension in space-time. So, if you were to enter a wormhole at one end, you could emerge at a different time and place than where you started. Wormholes of such strength are still purely theoretical, but they might offer us a glimpse into the possibilities of the universe. And who knows, one day we might just be able to harness their power and unlock the secrets of the cosmos. Now, we know what you're thinking. Has NASA really been searching for wormholes? And the answer is a resounding yes. NASA has been at the forefront of exploring our universe and searching for evidence of exotic objects like wormholes for decades. From sending spacecraft to the farthest reaches of our solar system to studying the behavior of black holes and other celestial objects, NASA has been working tirelessly to better understand our universe and the laws that govern it. And in the process, they've been searching for evidence of wormholes which could potentially provide us with a shortcut through space and time. Time. One of the most exciting missions in this quest was the launch of the Hubble Space Telescope. The powerful observatory has captured images of some of the most distant and exotic objects in the universe, including black holes, which could potentially be the entrance or exit points of a wormhole. The scope for this search was broadened when the James Webb Space Telescope was launched in December of 2021, but still to no avail. Even the fact that the JWST uses waves from the invisible spectrum to construct images didn't help, meaning we would have seen it even if it was invisible. NASA has also been using advanced simulations and models to study the behavior of wormholes and explore the possibilities of their existence. And while they haven't found definitive proof of their existence yet, the search continues. Repeatedly failing to find a wormhole must have been becoming increasingly aggravating and frustrating. Therefore, NASA decided to start working on creating its own wormhole. For someone who has a limited knowledge of gravity, space and time, this announcement created one very prominent question. If all a wormhole does is take you from one point to a place you cannot possibly get to, if there was a wormhole that took you somewhere you've already been, it would be pretty underwhelming. 
to go into it not knowing where it would take you, thinking of all the amazing discoveries you're about to make just to be teleported to a place you could have gone to before. Yes, teleportation would save time and resources, but with how many projects NASA has worked on to discover new things in space, there is no lack of resources. The limitation is science, and only a naturally occurring wormhole will be able to take it through those limitations. But we are forgetting that a wormhole can be used to travel through time. Therefore, creating a wormhole ourselves would definitely further humanity's progress in space study. But how do you create a wormhole of your own? Let's answer that question. First off, we need to have a solid understanding of the laws of physics, particularly those related to gravity, space and time. We would need to know how space-time is structured and how it behaves, and figure out what materials would be required to support the creation of a wormhole. Next, we would need a source of energy to overcome the massive gravitational forces that would be present around the wormhole. This energy would need to be truly colossal, on the scale of a star or black hole. Finally, we would need to find a way to stabilize the wormhole so it remains open and doesn't collapse in on itself. This would likely require some sort of exotic matter, which is a matter that has unusual properties and can have a negative energy density. For a long time, accomplishing all this was the stuff dreams were made of. No scientist could even think of being able to develop a wormhole by themselves, but those times are gone. As the title of the video may have given away, NASA has created something that can open wormholes. The discovery of a baby wormhole by Caltech physicist Maria Sirapulu and her colleagues has captured the imagination of the scientific community and beyond. However, despite the groundbreaking findings published in the journal Nature, the reality of sending people or other living beings through a wormhole is still far off. The term wormhole was first used by physicist John Wheeler in the 1950s. Keep in mind that a wormhole is a rupture in space and time, is considered a bridge between two remote regions in the universe, and is consistent with Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. In the study, the researchers observed the wormhole dynamics on a quantum device at Alphabet's Google called the Sycamore Quantum Processor. They found a quantum system that exhibited key properties of a gravitational wormhole, yet was small enough to be implemented on existing quantum hardware. While the experiment did not create a physical rupture of space and time, the researchers did observe a traversable wormhole that appeared to have emerged based on quantum information teleportation using quantum codes on the quantum processor. Despite the exciting findings, the researchers emphasized that there is a significant difference between something being possible in principle and possible in reality. However, they are thrilled to have the opportunity to explore these fundamental problems of the universe in a laboratory setting. These ideas have been around for a long time and they're very powerful, says physicist Joseph Lycan of Fermilab. But in the end, we're in experimental science, and we've been struggling now for a very long time to find a way to explore these ideas in the laboratory. And that's what's really exciting about this. It's not just, well, wormholes are cool. This is a way to actually look at these very fundamental problems of our universe in a laboratory setting. So while the thought of sending dogs or other living beings through a wormhole may seem exciting, it may be a while before that becomes a reality. But the discovery of the baby wormhole marks a thrilling first step in our journey to understand the mysteries of the universe. As of right now, the wormhole is still very tiny, hence the name baby wormhole. What's worse is that it's only in simulation. There is no real thing that has been created yet, and considering how difficult it was to come up with this simulation, a real-life wormhole seems just as impossible as it did before. But then again, simulating a stable wormhole was also considered impossible until that one was done. Therefore, we do not know how long it would take scientists to do it, but it can't be far off now, can it? Think of all the crazy things we would be able to do if we had wormholes at our disposal. Think about it, with wormholes, we could travel to the most distant reaches of space in mere minutes, explore new worlds, and even study the birth of our universe up close. 
and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Wormholes could also potentially revolutionize the way we travel here on Earth. No more long, grueling flights, no more being stuck in traffic. Imagine being able to travel from one end of the world to the other in the blink of an eye. But that's not all, folks. The possibility of wormholes extend far beyond just travel. Scientists believe that these portals could potentially be used for time travel as well. Think about the incredible discoveries and advancements we could make if we were able to observe and study history up close. It's no secret that the world we live in will soon be unfit for life. All the movies we see of humanity being extinct and only machines moving around all foreshadow one thing. Soon there will be no humans left on Earth. The streets will always be grey and gloomy with no sight of life for miles. Do you see the picture in your mind yet? Now think of all the times you have seen this scene in a movie. WALL-E, Love Death Robots, hundreds of TV shows and movies show how the Earth would look if humans were to no longer exist. But what if humans didn't go extinct? What if they just left? Not like in WALL-E, this time instead of getting on a spaceship and floating in space forever, we would travel back in time when the Earth is no longer in a good enough condition to sustain human life, we would all just hop into the huge wormhole scientists created and go back to a time when the Earth was healthy. This way, studying wormholes and the developing technology that can help create and contain a wormhole can ultimately help us solve the problem of extinction. We'd say that is a reason enough to put as much time and resources into the field as possible. When you think of giant cosmic bodies like the wormhole, the word black hole can also pop into your head. While both entities share the word hole, that is about all they have in common. Oh, and they can both be deadly if tempered the wrong way. First up, let's talk about black holes. These are objects in space that are so massive and have such a strong gravitational pull that not even light can escape from them. When a star collapses in on itself, it can create a black hole, and anything that gets too close, including stars, gas and dust, is sucked in and lost forever. Black holes are fascinating objects, and scientists are still learning about their properties and behaviour. As for wormholes, well, we have already told you all there is to know about them. But what sets these two objects apart from each other? Well, for starters, black holes are real and have been observed, while wormholes remain purely theoretical. Black holes are also defined by their strong gravitational pull, which is what makes them so fascinating and mysterious. On the other hand, wormholes are defined by their potential to connect distant points in the universe and are not known for their strong gravitational pull. Another difference between black holes and wormholes is their size. Black holes can range from being just a few miles across to millions of miles across. On the other hand, the size of wormholes is not well understood, but they are thought to be much smaller and potentially much more difficult to detect. Another key difference between black holes and wormholes is their behaviour. Black holes are known for their strong gravitational pull and the fact that anything that gets too close is sucked in and lost forever. Wormholes, on the other hand, are not known for their strong gravitational pull and their behaviour is still not well understood. If that wasn't simple enough, let's put it this way. If we go into a wormhole trying to find a way to avoid extinction, we will travel through time and reach a time on Earth where there was nothing around. It'll be a rebuilding job. But at least this time, we would know what not to do. Now, if for some reason we were to get confused between a wormhole and a black hole and accidentally go into a black hole, we know it's basically impossible, but let's just assume we do, we would be sucked into an abyss. No one really knows what lies at the centre of a black hole. Most people think it is probably just eternal nothingness, but no one knows for sure because no one has ever survived the trip. The gravitational forces are so strong that they destroy whatever falls into a black hole. If you watched Interstellar, Cooper, the main character, is actually shown to have fallen into a black hole. In that movie, they technically use a black hole's intense gravity as a wormhole to travel through space at greater speed. That specific manoeuvre probably isn't possible, but hey, it was a movie, anything is possible. 
When Cooper falls into the black hole, he is kinda sent into spectator mode. He became this being that can see and control everything in the universe, and time was a physical, travelable dimension for him. That would be a fascinating experience, and even though Cooper jumped into it to save his colleague, would you do the same to be able to control everything?